And Juan Carlos and I are here. We are in the taxi cab on our way to Market 28, or it's called Mercado 28. Exactly. And we're gonna go check this place out. Um, it's been many years since I've been here, over 10. Um, but it's a place where you can get lots of souvenirs, uh, local crafts, lots of different vendors, and yeah, I'm kind of excited about checking it out after all these years and seeing how it is. Yep. Juan Carlos has never been, so you guys get to come along with us. So. Well, let's do it. All right, everyone. So we've made it down here to Market 28. We're going to go exploring now. And just a short cab ride. It's about 15 US dollars from the Royal Sands. You can also take the R2 bus, uh, which is a lot less expensive. But we kind of wanted to get here since it's late in the day. We don't have much time, so we took a cab. So let's go explore, shall we? You ready? I'll follow you. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo están? Bien, bien. Yeah, if we see the bowl. Oh, gracias. Viva Mexico. Carlos is contemplating a big purchase, some numbers for our house in Costa Rica, and we need the numbers one and two, and they have everything but. One and two. <laughs> so the guy just went to go uh, try to find it. But let me show you what the numbers look like. We'll go over here. Right down here. So they're kind of cool. They're actually uh, little pieces of tile that would look nice on the front of our house in Cartago. All right, he went searching all over and did a lot of work for those. I guess it's... Do you like them? Yeah. I think they would look nice on the front of our house. These kids are cute, especially this little dude. Hey, buddy. Ah, you know who they are? No, who are they? Okay, so all these characters are characters from Chespirito. He was a, a great, great artist from Mexico. Okay. Um, he died a few years ago. It was like really sad for all Latin America because all of us growing up as kids, we, we used to watch their show and we loved them. Okay. So um, they are very famous here in Latin America. He's Chapulín Colorado. What's his name? El Chapulín Colorado. He's a, a Latin American superhero. Okay. All right and she's La Chilindrina, and this little guy, this one, is El Chau. He's also very famous. The same, the same actor that um, performed El Chau also performed as Chapulín Colorado. So we as kids love these uh, dolls because they, they are El Chau, Chapulín, and La Chilindrina. There are a few more, but I don't see them here. So that's very cool, everyone. You just learned a little history, and if you do come to Mar Market 28, I've seen these at many of the booths, so now you know a little history about what these dolls are in Latin America. And if you're a Latin American watching our videos, 
Thanks for watching. All right, everyone. So we survived Mercado 28, Market 28. We picked up a couple things. One thing we got a pretty good deal. One thing we paid a little too much, but the family was very nice, so why not, right? Yeah. So we're getting ready to head back to the resort now because it's a little warm and it's the end of the day. Permiso. And uh, Juan Carlos, what do you have to say about this place? I thought it was bigger. You thought it was bigger? Okay. We only saw like maybe half of it. Ah, okay. It goes on for a couple more blocks that way. But pretty much everything is... The one thing I will say about this place is almost every booth has the same stuff. So you see lots and lots of it. Um, but you can get good items. And uh, the one thing that I don't like is there's a, a child standing on the other side of the camera right now that their family sent over trying to sell me something. I feel bad for her. Yeah, I don't like that. Not so much. So Juan Carlos and I are sitting here getting our sustenance, a little afternoon coffee, and uh, yeah, we just left uh, Market 28, hopped in a cab, and we came over here to La Isla, uh, which is one of the malls here in Cancun in the hotel zone. Um, and we're just sitting here having our coffee and watching people, and I was sort of thinking about Market 28 and what did I want to say about it. Um, Overall, it's if you've never been to a place like that and you're traveling, there are markets similar to that. It reminds me of places around the world. Even in Costa Rica, there's flea markets. In the USA, there's flea markets. There's one, there's a huge one in Fort Lauderdale called the Swap Shop. Well, it's very, sort of reminds me of that. Um, I think the difference between coming here and some of the markets we've been to would be um, this one seems like every single booth has the same stuff, almost. Um, they all have tequila, they all have silver, silver they all have Mexican blankets, yes, sombreros, and, <laughs> and um, little chaskis. Yeah, chachkis. Definitely. And some of them have leather. Oh yeah, there was a few leather. Lots of hats, lots of t-shirts. Um, uh, the one point of advice... Fans. Oh yeah, fans. Um, yeah, well you might need one of those. It is very warm here in Cancun. Um, Never pay the retail. Uh, you can certainly haggle there. I think it's expected. Um, they certainly like the US dollar more than they like the peso. Uh, so that, that helps. Um, just expect that you're gonna be hassled a little bit too. As you walk through, they're gonna come up with every game in the book to try to get you to stop and look in their booth. They're gonna, you know, Juan Carlos is walking around with a Harley Davidson backpack. How many times did they call you Harley Davidson? I don't know. They called me Whiskers. I heard that like 20 times. Whiskers, Whiskers, or, you know, Sombrero Man, because <laughs> I'm wearing a hat. And they um, will say things like, oh, I remember you from your resort. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're going to pretend they know you. Uh, everybody's your friend. Hola, amigo. Hey, friend. Um, so don't be discouraged by that. They're trying to make a living. Um, and just be gracious. The best thing you can say is gracias, no. Thank you, no. And just keep walking. Yeah. Um, and every now and then you'll come across a vendor who's really nice. And we did. We walked into one shop. Uh, Juan Carlos saw um, some numbers that were very nice, ceramic, uh, that we thought would look nice on the house. They didn't have the actual number that we were looking for, but he knew somebody else in the shops or whatever, and he actually left us there. Uh, and he came back with alternatives for us, which was very nice. And we ended up purchasing mainly because he was nice. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the pieces are Oh, no, are they're beautiful. absolutely, I, yeah. I like them. They are beautiful, and they're going to look great on the house. But it wasn't like we had to have those. Yeah, it's just that he was very nice, right. and he, he went, you know, beyond. Yeah, he went out of his way, which uh -huh. was really nice. And got us the, the numbers that we needed. And then we were walking. We were getting ready to leave, and we stopped at another booth. Uh, and there was a family there. It was a dad and a wife, and their two children were there. Uh, but he was a little different. He was very nice and cordial as opposed to, he wasn't overly pushy. I didn't find him to be. So we ended up purchasing something for his mother. I know I paid more than I should have for it and partially because I sort of felt like, oh, you know what? I'll give him a little extra because they were nice and they were a nice family. Yeah. So, uh, you know, use your judgment with that. But uh, the bottom line is we enjoyed it. We saw it. It'll probably be at least another 10 to 20 years before I go there again certainly <laughs> not necessarily my thing yeah and um, right now it's it's a 
the season is slow, slow. season. Yeah. Slow season, so it wasn't that busy today. The the market. Was, right, and today yeah. for us, when you watch this video, it's a Thursday. Uh, we didn't go to the market until about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and then the reason we came over here to La Isla is um, this sits on the west side on the bay uh, and this sits along the bay so we're going to try to get a little view of the sunset uh, since we really haven't seen a sunset. We've seen sunrises, or he's seen sunrises, I've been sleeping in <laughs> here in Mexico. But And also they had Starbucks and we like Starbucks so there we are. But anyway, with that being said, uh, we really appreciate you all watching as always, and we hope you like that little brief tour of uh, Market 28. Um, the last thing I'm going to say is, and as we left you, the last shot of Market 28 was that little sad shot of that little girl. Um, yeah, it really kind of stuck with me for a little while, and it was really difficult. She followed me around for a good minute or two after I stopped filming, kept trying to hold my hand looking at me with her big brown eyes and you know basically begging me to buy something um, that situation I've seen that not only here in Mexico but other places in the world too that can happen in the USA that can happen in any other country and you just have to sort of realize that if you do buy something from them you're just encouraging that parent to continue to push their child out there and I really feel bad for the child but I don't think it's good to give money to somebody like that my opinion what do you think yeah I mean the same you don't bring children to this world to make them suffer right, right? and put a children in that situation is, is, is just sad yeah so I don't like to encourage that behavior I do feel sorry and it was really painful to see that and you feel like you want to get something to buy something from her because She's a, she's a little kid and you right. want to help her. But the reality is that you're only encouraging their parents to continue doing that kind of stuff. Right. And that is not right. So, so. Yeah. So anyway, so I, I don't want to leave this on a down note, but overall we enjoyed that. So we're going to go check out the sunset here in a minute. But if you haven't done so yet, smash that like button down below. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, right? Shouldn't they subscribe? They should. Press the button down below. I think so. And subscribe. And as always, those of you who are subscribed and those of you watching, thank you very much as always. And remember, happiness, happiness is, is a lifestyle, lifestyle and we appreciate it very much. Peace out everyone. Ciao.